So on 19th of November is International Men's Day and we always celebrate the men in our lives. So I'm very, very privileged today to read out the various different nominations. We had over 42 nominations that came in from yourselves and these um, incorporated and talked about uncles and dads and stepdads and granddads and teachers and friends and boyfriends. First of all, can I thank everybody that took the time to nominate an inspirational man in their life. Um, it was quite inspirational for me reading all of those wonderful nominations. Unfortunately, we can only choose a handful and I'm about to share with you now those that have been successful in winning a prize and being recognised as an inspirational man in your life. We would now like to recognise an inspirational uncle um, and thank you for Aidan McGiveron who has nominated his uncle, Sam Kelly, and I'm now gonna read out what Aidan wrote about his uncle. Ever since he has come into my life, he has always been fun and a charismatic person who can make a friend of anyone. However, he is not afraid, of his, uh, he is not afraid to share his opinions and is brutally honest with anyone he meets. One thing stands out for me, from his IVF journey, there was a lot of struggles and hardship and emotional trauma through the fact that they went through four attempts, but the amazing news is now they are pregnant. He decided to give back to IVL, IVF an award and help raising money and giving away prizes and donating them to everyone around him. He's a truly inspirational uncle. We had a number of stepdads that were nominated, but this one shone out to us all. So thank you, Jack Caddick, for nominating your stepdad, Lee Jones. He's been, Beth, he's been there for me since I was two. When my mum was struggling, he was there to help. When I needed help, he was, he was always there for me with a helping hand and generally is just the best. He pushes me every day to do what I need to do and also helps me change my mindset while allowing me to make mistakes and helps me to correct them when I do. It must be wonderful to have such a great stepdad in your life, Jake. So granddads, they have a very, very special place in my heart. And there wasn't a dry eye in the house when we read this nomination. Isaac, thank you so much for being so honest and truthful about your granddad. He truly is an inspiration. So we are going to recognise Eric Howard. So my granddad was diagnosed with cancer five years ago and he beat it against all the odds. And it showed me how amazing and how strong and how his positive mental approach to cancer was just phenomenal. Unfortunately, a couple of weeks ago, he was diagnosed again with terminal cancer. And this is one of the reasons why it's led me to nominate him today. He's always shown a positive mindset and even encouraged me last year and helped me to do my GCSEs in maths in which I passed. He's always been there for me, especially when I lost my mum when I was seven years of age. He was in the army and was recognised for his, again, positive mental attitude once he was in the army. My granddad is a true inspiration, my best friend and has always been there for me. So we're going to talk about dads this time, but this is slightly special. And I know we mentioned a stepdad before, but the way that Daisy writes about her stepdad in her mindset, she, he really is her dad. So this is to your dad, Daisy, Simon Tang. The reason I'm nominating my dad is because he looks, looks after me like I am his own. He raised me since I was two years old. He supports me in all the things I do. He helps me in every situation, especially when I can't do it myself. He's encouraged me to be a strong, independent woman and even talks to me about feminine issues or projects we might be working on at college. He's helped me with my ho home-run business, which is makeup, and has even let me practice my makeup on him. 
He is a truly amazing man and to me, he is absolutely an inspirational dad. So how lovely I get to, we next get to talk about an inspirational teacher here at Hubert College. And this particular tutor had received over, I think it was five nominations. So this is truly amazing. So the teacher that we're gonna to recognize today as an inspirational man is Jason Woods. I'm not gonna read out all the nominations. I'm just gonna choose a one that kind of really shone out to me. I've chosen to nominate my English tutor, Jason Woods, because he's always there when I need his help. His lessons are brilliant and they are very organized. Jason is always smiling and making everyone laugh. He has a good sense of humor and makes everyone in class feel comfortable. Jason makes lesson, lessons exciting and interesting, which helps us learn. He is a great teacher because he's very dedicated and he's always encourages to push us. He always encourages us to push ourselves and do our best. Jason always lets us know when he what he expects of us, and he inspires me to be the best I can possibly be. There is nothing more than we can possibly ask of a tutor here at Hubert College, and that nomination literally embodies everything that we want our teachers to be. Thank you, Jason, and thank you for everyone who nominated for him. So we will now like to talk about an inspirational male friend. So thank you, Faye Croft, for nominating your friend, Stephen White. Stephen White is a man who is not afraid to share his thoughts, despite his opinions differing from the majority. He challenges life with a smile on his face, no matter how hard it is whether this is McDonald's or volunteering for charity on his weekends. He's such an inspirational man and I could not think of anyone who's more hardworking than Stephen White. Thank you for nominating Stephen. And finally, I am so pleased to recognise this particular person because I don't think um, our amazing academic support staff get recognised enough for the work that they do. So we would like to, there was a number of people who nominated Danny Taylor, who is one of our support members of staff. And this is what they said about you, Danny. We are nominating Dan because he's a kind soul and a great person. Dan always goes out of his way and gives us 110%, even if, even if he's having a bad day. Dan always makes us laugh and joins in with conversations. Thank you so much for taking the time to listen to our inspirational men's nominations. Thank you for everyone that nominated and most importantly, thank you for all of those inspirational men in our lives. Um, it doesn't end here. So now that we've identified and uh, the winners who have been recognized today, I'll be in contact with you all individually and there'll be various different prizes that are gonna be given out. Thanks again and uh, just make sure if you have got an inspirational dad, granddad, stepdad, brother, cousin, friend, just say thank you to them on the 19th because we all need inspirational men in our lives. Thank you.